Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're talking about the material strength of the bolt. If you guys have been watching, this is a pretty familiar setup. We got our test joint and we have a compression load cell that measures the clamping force that the bolt generates during tightening. And our variable we'll be talking about today is the different material strengths along with the metric property class of bolted joints. So we've got these three bolt grades. We've got 8.8, 10.9, and 12.9. The property class of a metric bolt tells us about its ultimate tensile strength. We're gonna test them out on this fixture and see how much clamping force they generate when we take the bolt all the way to failure. All right, let's check it out. Okay, torque to failure, here we go. Nice. So this is 10.9. Good? So that's 155 kilonewtons. Okay, ready? Yep. This is 12.9. Nice. There we go, and almost 180 kilonewtons. All right, so what does that mean? We see that the, the clamping force increases the higher the grade of the bolt. But what does that number actually tell us about this bolt itself? Okay, so this number, the first number here, 10, this is a 10.9, the first number 10 tells me about the ultimate tensile strength of the material. That number is in newtons per square millimeter. So if I measure the cross-sectional area of this bolt, I can measure what that area is in millimeters. And I know for every one of those square millimeters, the ultimate tensile strength of this is a thousand newtons. So a square millimeter is about the wire size of a large paper clip. So you can picture a bolt this big is a whole lot of paper clips. And like we can see, we have you know, over 100 kilonewtons of available strength there. So the second number also tells us something interesting about the tensile strength of the bolt. It tells us about the yield strength of the material. So this number tells me that there's 900 newtons per square millimeter of yield strength in this bolt. So that tells me how close that yield point is to the ultimate tensile strength. And really what this boils down to is it gives the design engineer some criteria so he can select the right torque for the bolted joint application and he can maximize the tightness so the joint will perform as it gets out into the field. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you next time. <laughs>